Bright from bestlinksgames.com. I don't do unboxings, but we're about to do an unboxing. I don't like to do unboxings uh, ever because they're stupid. That's a good reason not to do them. They're, uh, you know, kind of uh, braggadocious, kind of uh, facile, empty materialistic. Uh, techno fetishistic uh, planned obsolescence worshipping ritual that I don't appreciate but today we have an unboxing and then I'm going to show you how to set it up but first before we find out what's in the box what's in the box what's in the box I want to show you what I use for X-Plane now I use um this is the Thrustmaster uh, T16000 hottest system. This is the flight stick, which has a lot of buttons here. Why am I showing it to the microphone? Lots of buttons. There are six buttons on each side. There's a slide down here. There are four buttons up top. With a hat and a trigger button. I like this very much. And it's very inexpensive. Comparatively. It's about 100 bucks. This is the best part about the T16000 Hottest. Thrustmaster Hottest system. This is the throttle. Let me stand up so that we can get closer. This is the throttle. The throttle is on rails. Which is brilliant. Now... This is the way you hold the throttle. There's a dial here, an antenna dial. Button one, button two. Uh, up, down, switch. Then there's another joystick here. Can you see that? Yeah. Super hot. And then these, if you don't have a set of pedals, like I have a set of pedals, of course. But these can be mapped to be pedals. Um, and then, and all of this, you know, that's forward thrust that's speed over then on the side we have another hat switch and this is a big big nice to hold in your hand feeling throttle there's another hat switch and then there are these two multifunctional buttons that are you know toggles these go four directions each and they have different um what do you call them? Uh, different. Uh, they feel different on your thumb. So it's easy to tell which one is which. These guys have like these little spiky things. Here, There's four little spiky things. And then there's another button. So it's a lot of fucking buttons. It's awesome. It's rad. I love it. And I have my set of uh, CH Products Pro Pedals. That's down below. Well. I just had a knife in my hand. What the fuck? Well, not just now, now, but like... Ah, there it is. I finally took the plunge. I have a flight yoke, too. Um... But it's not that, it's a good yoke, but it doesn't mount well to any of the desks. And it didn't make the transition from my original, um, oh shit. All right, so we've upgraded. This is the single most expensive joystick I have ever owned. Holy shit, this thing is so fucking heavy. Oh my god, that's heavy. Even has a fucking handle. This here is the hottest warthog by Thrustmaster. This is all metal. Um, ugh. Sorry if I keep knocking the microphone. This is all metal construction. In terms of the base and stuff. 
Um, whoa. Holy shit, this is heavy. I'm gonna guess this is the flight stick. Hopefully our microphone does not fall off our desk. I have no fingernails, so this is hard. All right. Oh my God, this thing is heavy as fuck. Now, the thrust, I've been very happy with the Thrustmaster T6, T16000. Um, it's versatile and it's fabulous. It's, it's, it would be great for Elite Dangerous if Elite Dangerous ever got ported to Linux. Oh boy. Holy shit. Shit. But I like to fly helicopters in X plane. That's really why I have all this shit. And so I got paid for a couple of jobs that I thought I was not going to ever get paid for. Two of them ran. Oh my God! This is what you call, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This feels rock solid in my hand. I don't know how to assemble this onto this yet, but I'm assuming that there will be instructions at some point. Holy fuck, that's the manual? What the fuck? How hard could this be? Oh, it's got a serial connector down in there this is the base this is all metal this weighs a ton this weighs a ton every f oh my goodness the action on this just oh it's like butter okay so i'm gonna assume that this plugs in here oh here one moment Whew. But yes, this is a grotesque... Oh, does it have a... Do we need a hex wrench? No, doesn't look like it. Looks like this just screws in here. Yep. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Um, wow, okay. Um, that's, 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 that's. Holy shit. Holy fuck, okay. So that's, that's our, our new flight stick, but it is a hottest system, which means hands on throttle and stick. And this is really what I, this is really what I wanted to buy. Just this, the, the contents of this box is really, um, I want to replace the uh, T6 T16000 with I'm gonna sit down. Oh my god, that thing is so fucking heavy. This thing's heavy too. I want to replace the T16000's uh, throttle with uh, one that had a, a higher a higher resolution and a more solid feel. Even though that is even though the T16000 prior to this is by far the best hottest system I've ever used. Um, I don't like to spend a lot of money. This time I spent a lot of money. This is about four hundred dollars, but this is the device that I wanted, and it was two hundred bucks. This is the throttle, the Warthog throttle. Oh my god, this thing weighs a ton. 
I hope that... My biggest concern when, when when I finally took the plunge, I've like, I've wanted one of these for like two years. I'm fucking almost 38 years old. I'm going to die one day. You know, it's the same, kind of the same um, eight years ago when I turned 30. I had kind of the same epiphany. I was like, oh, you know what? I've wanted an XRK tank stick, the big one, since XRK tank sticks existed. And they were now so cheap. This is like a thousand dollar, like, you know, back in the day, like 10 years ago, this would be like a thousand dollar thing. My biggest concern was that, as shit falls over, my biggest concern was that this might be too heavy because one of the nice things about the T16000 is it's all plastic and it's all really light. It feels solid. It's it's great to fly helicopters with. Um, but it means I can put it on the floor and, you know, blah, 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 just quick swap it out. It's not a big deal. These are a big deal. This is my new throttle. Oh, look, there's a friendly little diagram about how we were supposed to assemble our flight stick. What is not okay? I fail to uh, appreciate the nuances of the difference between what is okay and what is not okay here. Top two are okay. Bottom two are not okay. I don't get it, but that's okay. I'm sure it's okay. Okay? Quit saying okay. Okay. Wow. The other thing is that I've started flying um, fighter jets again in X-Plane 11. I used to be okay-ish in fighter jets. It depends. Like, the MiG was my one of my favorites in X-Plane uh, 9, I want to say. I wanted a split throttle. The Warthog... Oh my goodness. This thing weighs a ton. Look at these switches. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. You want to get in every team, or you want to get in a super right now? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, and there's a, here. What are you? Oh, your flaps. Okay. Oh, flaps up and down. Look at that. It's labeled flaps up and down. Ooh. Ooh. But really, okay, so on the side, we got, whoa. And a hat. And then a button and uh, another hat, another button. I don't even know what that pen is. And then on the side, you got, whoa. Oh. Oh. Okay, so now that we have Holy shit, let's make sure the USB cables are long enough. Wow. This is an impressive. And when these when I got paid for these jobs, I was like, no fucking way. I'd totally given up ever hearing from these people again. 
two different jobs, two different clients. I was like, that's it. That's it. I'm going to spend 400 bucks. I'm going to buy a fucking warthog. <gasps> this throttle. Holy shit. Now, here's the problem. First, let's disconnect all of our other stuff. Over here, um, let's zoom in. So, we have to write new UDEV rules for this. So, which is not as difficult as it sounds because we have the pedals down below. This thing's amazing. <laughs> we'll see how well it handles, but. Second to building like a flight simulator pod. This is what you would fucking buy if you were building a flight simulator pod. You can hear that, right? Holy fuck. I don't know. I don't know. Whoa, that is a dial. I don't really know what that dial does or if it's just actually. Let's see. Let's increase friction. No. I don't know. I'm. I'm I'm really only used to flying helicopters um, anymore, but I know what APU start means. Now you do lose that nice, um, although you do have another hat here. You do lose that nice extra joystick on the front of the uh, T sixteen thousand, which is really handy because you can map it to anything. Oh my god, these buttons. And switches are so springy. This is a three set. Oh, so cool. It feels so solid. Anyway, we're going to have to write some UDEV rules. So, let's unplug our old, our old hottest system. I got all running into a uh, Amazon USB hub here. So there's that. Later on, once we get this working, we'll uh, unplug everything and uh, run the cable, actually, in a more, uh, what do you call it, uh, cosmetic, in a more cosmetic and uh, technically uh, feasible and sustainable way, but. T16000, though, is a hell of a hotter system. It's 100 bucks on Amazon. I've had mine for about two months, which makes it doubly shameful, but I'll give it to one of my friends or something. Um, it's not going to... I I can't stand unused technology that is not expired. This is good stuff. And I got silica grease, um, which is good for the good for the rails, good for your airsoft guns, too. But, um, okay, so we're going to have to write some UDEV rules. So, first off, I want to make sure that these guys... Oh, my God! This thing is huge. That's what she said. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. You see this massive, throbbing... Fucking It's so gorgeous, enormous. All right. And I am Peachum, king of the beggars. Villainy of the world is great. Man has to run legs off to keep them in his family. So we are going to... All right, we have unplugged everything. All right, good. So now we're going to... We need... Oh, man, there's no room for a piece of paper up here now. Any more whiskey? This calls for fucking booze. 
All right, so you're going to need a piece of paper and uh, a pen, ideally, or a Sharpie. So, hopefully you, oh, let me turn off that lower third. There we go. So, right now we are in, let's see. LibUDevRules.D, and we're on uh, Mint 18. So, 99 hyphen explain, you know, dash, hyphen dash, same thing. 99 explain 11, so we're in a nano. I just want to take a look so you, I can show you what you need. All right, so I named this 99-X-Plane uh, 11 joystick rules. I don't know why I didn't put underscores in there, but anyway. What we need now. I wish I knew which of these. Ugh, my fucking gnat just flew in my eye. <laughs> uh, all right. So this is our hottest setup. And I think these are our CH Products Pro Pedals, which you can hear but cannot see. They're what my feet are on. So. Let's make sure, opening a new terminal. Let's see, here's the thing that we need. We need the vendor ID and the product ID. See where it says attributes ID product equals B687? And attributes ID vendor equals 044F. And mode 0666 is the permission that you want it to run at so that it's available um, to X-Plane or other, you know, Steam-based flight simulator games so that it'll see all three of these devices and let you map them. So what we need first, let's, so hang on. You have to do this as root, by the way. Oops, I fucked that up. It's weird. I'm typing underneath this microphone and typing above, over the, <laughs> over the, oh my God, this thing is nuts. Sorry, this thing is fucking nuts. So, um, what we want to do is, no, we don't want to, wait, did our Z-Pool scrub finish? Yep, cool. That's good. All right, so what we want to do is we want to run ls input as root. This will give us all the information for everything that's connected uh, in terms of like uh, input devices and stuff like that. Uh, it'll give us the vendor ID and the product ID uh, we could have just grepped this. Launch take tool action. We, we're looking for CH Products Pro Pedals. This is... Uh, vendor is 680. Here we go. So that those are our Pro Pedals. So let's comment that, actually. So these are the two that we need to change. We need to, because we just unplugged them. Mm. And we're going to add, we're going to plug these guys in. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get the vendor ID for the flight stick and the product ID for the flight stick. I think the vendor ID should probably be the same, but I don't know, because Thrustmaster bought SciTech or SciTech bought Thrustmaster and then Logitech bought everybody. I don't know. So we'll see. Um, so I'm plugging these guys in. Now we're going to alt. Oh my God, this lights up. It's so cool. 
I'm sorry. I'm like a 12 year old. What, what do you want? You want to deprive me of my only fucking joy? Is that what you want? You cocksuckers! You will not deprive me of my only. Okay, so anyway, we're going to alt tab. Now we're going to run LS input again. This time we're going to look for. MMP SDK. Logitech M570. Okay, uh, no. Thrustmaster Throttle Hottest Wah. So, I'm going to write down throttle. Product zero X four oh four vendor zero X four four F. So that would just be zero, I think, or zero, zero, four, four, five. I get a little confused sometimes. But anyway, so that's our throttle. And here's our joystick. We want the product first, product. 0x402 vendor 0x44f okay we're going to comment these old guys out but first we're going to copy them All right, cool. Now we're going to paste these guys again. And we'll do this throttle followed by flight stick. Now, I can never remember... If I'm remembering correctly, you don't just put in 0x404. You put in maybe 0404? 004? No, 04. Let's try 0404. Oops. All right, now we're gonna save that. And now we have to do uh, UDEV ADM. What the fuck is that command? Uh, each heart, okay, so I'm looking at uh, developer.explain.com uh, joystick permissions, which is, I wish that they'd had this a while ago, like three years ago. Um, hold on a moment. No, 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 no. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, 
Yeah, so you, you, you ditch the zero X. Okay, cool. So let's go back. Back to the future. Oh yeah, no, okay, yeah. Zero four oh four and zero four oh two should be good. And then what is the you dev admit what the fuck? Uh we want you to yeah, you dev We wanna update the U dev rules. It's U dev ad ADM, but I can't remember. Let's find out. U dev ADM One moment. I can never remember the syntax to make this reload. We may have to reboot, which is actually probably the best way to test, but whatever. Reload! R, cool. R. There we go. Now, theoretically, oops, we don't need another OBS. Oops, sorry about that. Now, theoretically, let's see if Steam sees any of these guys. Oh, Jesus, hang on. While I enter my credentials. I don't know why, but Crossover Linux seems to overwrite my main Steam Linux for some reason. But there we go. We are in. I hate that game. Brain out. I did not like that game at all. While this loads, I'm going to make some chaser. I shall return momentarily, and then we'll see. We might have to reboot, um, and we might have fucked up some things. We might not have gotten it perfectly right. But that's the basic process. Um, most important commands to remember are... Well, first, you have to remember, you know, the UDEV rules. Um, lib UDEV rules.d That's where you create the file for all your shit. Uh, it loads... Lowest number to highest number, so 99 hyphen X plane. That's generally pretty good. Put all the stuff, like put all your devices in there. Um, you want the vendor ID, the the product ID, and you want to set the attributes. Uh, you want to set the mode to equals here. Oh, shit, I can't do that. Uh, mode equals, you know, uh, quotes, two quotes, uh, 0666. Three sixes, mark of the beast, unquote. And everything is comma separated. Pretty pretty self-explanatory. Um, let's see if this worked. Yay, there they are. There 
there they are. We're gonna unplug your kimono dragon. We're gonna unplug our uh, Logitech, our little Logitech gamepad here. There you go. Now let's make sure that all three, because we need our pedals. Oh! We need our pedals and yep. Excellent. So now we're gonna calibrate everything. And then we're gonna have fun mapping everything. But first we're just gonna calibrate everything, see. Ah, yes, calibration. There you go. All right. Oh my God, that's so fucking awesome. Really, it's just ridiculous. Uh, mixture? All right, okay, cool. Uh, friction dial does nothing. Okay, I gotta show you this. This is impressive. It does have one of those little miniature joysticks, but it's, back in the day, um, on laptops, they used to be called, they were like a little eraser-sized thing embedded in the middle of the keyboard, and that was what, I can't remember what they were called. Is in the middle of the keyboard in your laptop. You didn't have a touchpad. You had this thing that was super high resolution and that's how you controlled your mouse pointer that's what this guy has that's what we're looking at right there access to holy shit and it's a button oh and it's really responsive it's like a little click uh all right, cool. So that that that's all of those guys. All right. Let's have some whiskey. Wow. Wow. So one thing to remember though, when you're getting the vendor ID and the product ID from uh, LS Input. Um, it'll say something like 0x for whatever, you know, blah. You just want to take out the x and just leave in the 0404 or whatever it happens to be in your case. So now we can map this shit. So we are ready. Um, wow. All right, so this is oh, prop, okay, throttle. We're gonna need to change one of these to collective for our helicopters. What is this? Okay, yeah. So the axis one and axis zero, that's X and Y on this little button nub thing. Let me show you what this looks like. And then I'll let you go because I have to make some chaser and uh, pour some whiskey. But we will be 
back momentarily after that. Um, you see right here? That little nub. Little clit. The little clit! <laughs> if you can't find it at this point, well... No sub super experience practice and uh, dedicated training. Ah, so then I got all his shit to map. This is exciting. Um, look at that. It's like a hat, but way better. It's like it is feather feather touch resolution. So. All right. This is so cool. I'm sorry. It's so cool. I'm just I'm having a moment here. <laughs> All right, we're going to crash something real fast. I want to see, because I, um, I never bothered to set up separate, uh, what do you call it, um, control profiles, even though it's kind of important. I just always do it manually when I switch from jet jet fighters to helicopters, helicopters. Um, let's do a new flight. Let's do it here in my home, my hometown, Las Vegas, Nevada, KLAS. McCarran International. K L A S. Yes. And I want to customize this. I want to be here. I do not want to take off from the helipad. I want to take off from the runway so we can die. Get run over by other planes. And we're going to use track real world time and date. Uh, match real world conditions. So that's going to actually, no, we don't want to match real world conditions because good. We'll make it clear. Yeah, broken sky. That's, yeah, that's good. I still want crosswinds or anything like that. I want to see what this feels like vanilla. And then we want our Bell 407, which is a payware aircraft. Well worth it. It's 30 bucks, but it is a lot of fun to fly. Um, and then later on, we'll do the F-18. This is going to be so great. We're going to have both engines running. It's going to be fabulous. Now let's see if we can get off the ground. I'm a reasonable, um, reasonably capable helicopter pilot. At least in terms of the basics. Um, like takeoff, landing, uh, navigation. Where's my lighter? I don't know. This is all out of control. I got this Fucking hot ass. Fucking, oh, it's so hot ass. All right. Let's start the flight. I might have to reverse the throttle, which is weird. But cheers. This, so far, I'm very impressed. Just a little bit. What's L-A-S-T-E? Hmm. This is the fun about uh, X-Plane, by the way. Um, this is a more expensive setup than I would recommend, you know, to a beginner. Um, for a beginner, the T-16,000... It's like a hundred bucks. I think it's a hundred bucks. Let me, while that's still loading. Let's go to Amazon. Thrustmaster Hottest. 
Yeah, I would not recommend the T Flight Hottest X Flight Stick, which I have. I've had one of those too. That's the cheaper version. You want the Thrustmaster T sixteen thousand M FCS Hottest Controller, which is ninety nine dollars ninety nine cents. Um, if you're just starting out, so like for a hundred, so for two hundred, then you're gonna want pedals. I would not recommend getting a pair of CH Products Pro pedals. Um, but they're the only pedals I've ever used. So let's see if this. what she said. I know. I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing it. You cannot stop me. Whoa. What the fuck is going on here? We should be dead. Hang on. Oh, this is like butter. One thing that is kind of inconvenient is that the uh, the hat on the uh, actual flight stick is oh this throttle is fantastic, but the hat is a little high up for me. Oh okay, these are all backwards. Ah yes okay. We're gonna land her now. Which is really weird because doing this backwards sucks. Anyway, trying to do it backwards is difficult. But anyway, this is so awesome! I wish I could make this ignore this forever. Throttle. Um, we want to reverse these guys. Okay, wait, we only want to reverse one of them. Yeah, 
that should do it. Shit. One moment. Die, 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 die. I didn't even have my feet in the stirrups yet. Why are we in the air? Something weird's going on with this other throttle. It, it seems to think that it is a throttle throttle, not a collective, um, which is okay. I'll get used to it. That's why we almost died twice there. And why we were getting all those engine warnings. That does not look like anything I've seen in this town before. Well, this is where all the power poles get together and have their meeting. This is exquisite. Although our frame rate right now is kind of shitty. I don't know what's going on, but. Let's turn on SAS. Turn on all the pussy shit. Cool. I have no hands on anything. We got the hell of SAS running right now. Fuck, I, uh, I just remembered. I just made up templates for War Thunder, though. Fuck. I'm terrible at War Thunder. I'm the worst. I just made up. Check these out. Those are all the button mappings I did for War Thunder with a little diagram. Anyway. Cool. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Um, This is a massive sticker. Yeah, I got it. Um, I don't know why they make it shift nine to be back in the cockpit. Mm. Can't stand flying outside of the cockpit. Because when I'm in a plane, I don't like to be outside of the plane when I'm flying. Because um, I don't want to die. Anyway, cheers. Thanks for watching. Uh, my name is Skooky Sprite. S-K-O-O-K-I-E-S-P-R-I-T-E. 
we have been, wow, we've been setting up the amazing uh, Thrustmaster Warthog hottest flight system on our Mint 18 box using the UDEV rules um, to make sure that our pedals and this fantastic Okay, I'm, I, I don't even have my, I, I'm, my feet are not in on the pedals at all right now. That's hella sass, man. Hella sass is fucking rad. Um, if you're a pussy. Or if you need to land, um, like, uh, check uh, our Twitch stream. Um, go to the videos tab. There is a hilarious video of us doing a GPS test where we flew from here to KGCN, you know, Grand Canyon National Airport. But it was the first time I'd ever used real-world weather conditions, and it had snowed that day here in Vegas. This was, like, February 20th or something like that. Um, it was about a month ago. Uh, and there was zero visibility at KGCN. Unless you were below, like, a thousand feet, you could not see fuck. And I ended up landing it, um, and I think I had hell of sass on that. But uh, that was by far the most difficult. I spent hundreds of hours in X-Plane fucking around with this shit uh, with helicopters. Something I kind of... Wow, this is so cool. This is so cool. But anyway, uh, check out the podcast, www.bestlinksgames.com, home of the audio-only podcast, audio-only podcast, covering only the best games available with the new slash Linux operating system, which we know and love. Yes, indeed. Uh, need to get in touch with me? Find me on Steam. Friend me on Steam. My name is Skooky Sprite. S K O K I E S P R I T E. Or even better and faster and way more direct is uh, hitting me up on Twitter at Vegas Writer V E G A S W R I T E R. Cheers! Thanks for watching. Check out the podcast. <laughs>